Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning for your faithfulness. We thank you for your love. We thank you for grace to sleep and to wake up healthy. Thank you for members of our families. Thank you for our friends all over the world. We ask for your presence as we share from your word this morning. Open our eyes to behold wondrous things written in your word. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our text today is taken from Matthew chapter 5, from verse 27 to 37. Matthew chapter 5, verse 27. I read from the NIV Bible. You have heard that it was said, do not commit adultery. But I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, gorge it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to go into hell. It has been said, anyone who divorces his wife must give her a certificate of divorce. But I tell you that anyone who divorces his wife, except for marital unfaithfulness, causes her to become an adulteress. And anyone who marries the divorced woman commits adultery. Again, you have heard that it was said to the people long ago, do not break your oath, but keep the oaths you have made to the Lord. But I tell you, do not swear at all, either by heaven, for it is God's throne, or by it, for it is his footstool, or by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. And do not swear by your head, for you cannot make even one hair white or black. Simply let your yes be yes, and your no, no. Anything beyond this comes from the evil one. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The topic for our devotion is a call to faithfulness. A call to faithfulness. In today's passage, Jesus speaks of the need for faithfulness in our lives through fulfilling our commitments. It's important for us to know that faithfulness is the state of being faithful, allegiance, loyalty, fidelity. To be faithful is to be loyal, adhering firmly to one's, someone or someone's cause, Adf adhering faithfully to a cause, to be reliable, to be worthy of trust. That is what it means to be faithful. And so from the scripture, the essential, this is essential to God who sometimes measures our love for others by checking if we have fulfilled our commitments. Jesus here talks of our commitment to marriage and to the promises made to one another. Being married to a person is not itself the commitment, but remaining sexually loyal to one's spouse 
in practice, and even in sexual thoughts. We know that today, all over the world, the marriage institution is under serious attack. And what is going to save families and homes is faithfulness. Faithfulness to one's partner, faithfulness to one's commitment. And that is what Jesus is bringing to the fore in the passage. He said, you have heard, in verse 27, that it was said, do not commit adultery. But I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. What Jesus is saying here is that sin has to be dealt with from its root. It's not just dealing with it on the surface. Adultery is a sin that doesn't just happen by chance. It is planned. It takes time for somebody to nurse the, the idea. And of course, through lust, if one is given to lust, before he knows it, he has arranged how to fulfill that lust, the demand of that lust on his body. And Jesus said, instead of just talking about adultery, don't look at a woman lustfully. And that is the root. Lust produces sexual unfaithfulness. And in order to lust, not to commit that adultery, we do not have to give ourselves to seduction. Concerning promises, Jesus instructs that we make clear promises and keep them. When we make promises, we should be faithful in keeping those promises. We shouldn't just make promises that we cannot keep. We should make promises that we can keep. We should say what we mean and mean what we say and live by it. That will help us to live a fulfilled life in the world. That will build trust around us. As we interact with people, as we meet with people, as we go about our daily activities, let's be reliable. Let's be people who keep promises. That's what Jesus is telling us. We should not undermine such promises in small ways, but be faithful in every way. We should be faithful in every way. That is why it is said, we should not swear. Let our yes be yes, let our no be no. That will give people confidence when they come around us, when they, when they come to have anything to do with us, either in our offices or in our homes, or even in the community where we live, in our neighborhood. If we are unfaithful, we become associated with Satan. And of course, we know that Satan is the father of lies. There's no blessing for unfaithfulness. The only thing that comes to people who are unfaithful is judgment. Think about your relationship and your commitment to God. Think about it. Are you faithful to God? Are you committed to Him? More often than not, we make promises in the church. We make promises when we hear a good message. We lift our hands and promise, uh, pledge our commitment to the Lord. Think about the pledges and the commitments, the statements you have made about your commitment to the Lord. How have you been able to keep it? Have you failed in any of them? What of your commitment to your spouse, your commitment to your wife, your husband, your com commitment to your parents, your commitment to your children, your commitment to your neighbors, your commitment to your fellowship, commitment to the body of Christ that you belong to. Think about your commitment. How committed have you been? Do you destroy the 
precious peace that God has given to people around you by being unfaithful. A father who is unfaithful, for instance, destroys the peace at home. A mother who is unfaithful destroys the peace at home. Each time the spouse looks at him, at, at him or at her, the mind skips. The children protest indirectly because there's no peace at home. When you say you will do something, do it. When you say you will do something, it is good as done if you are a faithful person. But if you are not a faithful person, you say a thing, you don't do it. Where, where you have failed, there is hope in Christ. Assuming you have been unfaithful to your wife, assuming you have been unfaithful to your children, there is hope in Christ. Assuming you have been unfaithful to your commitment, and that hope is in the salvation that Jesus gives, who will build faith in you again to be a reliable person, to be a trustworthy person. So there's hope in Christ. There's hope of healing. There's hope of restoration. Today, may we all be restored. May we all be healed. May we receive grace to be faithful again in the name of Jesus. Commitment should be part of a full life. Commitment. Even in uncertain situations, we have to be faithful. We have to be committed. Keep commitment, no matter how small, in big, in the biggest, or in any possible way. Be committed. May God give us grace to be committed to our partners, to be committed in our work, in our place of work, to be faithful. And may we be seen as faithful people every day of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. It's important that we pray today as we go out today that the Lord will lead us in the path of faithfulness. There's a call to faithfulness. God is calling you to faithfulness. God is calling me to faithfulness. God is calling the Christian body to faithfulness. Every member of our families, God is calling us unto faithfulness. Let us pray. Say this prayer with me, and after which I will pray. Lord, give me grace to be faithful in my work with you, in my family life, and in my public life. In the name of Jesus, amen. Faithful Father, we thank you for the grace you have given us this morning to hear your word. You want us to deal with sin at its root and be faithful. Be faithful to our partners. Be faithful and be committed to you in our work with you. Be faithful and committed to our parents and to our children, to our neighbors. Fill us with the spirit of faithfulness so that as we go out today, we will manifest the faithfulness of Christ in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you and God bless you. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of the Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, Subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.